And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. Lady Teton volleyball team has a big week in front of them. Matches at Dawson tomorrow night in Miles Community on Wednesday, but they've shown they can take a punch battling back to beat Lake Region and hanging in there against state power science. Um, we definitely have a very dynamic team. Everyone works really hard. We all have great positive attitudes and we're ready to do something this year. What do you think you have to get better at sophomore season? Um, just overall hitting and I'm um, just keeping a good mindset all the time and not getting hard down on myself and getting hard on myself. Now as a team you got down against Lake Region but boy you battle right back and ended up pulling it out. It had to make you feel good right? Yes for sure that was a great win for us as a team. And then science the next night that was a battle you hung in there with them. Yeah they're a very tough team and we're ready to get that at them next time. You try to just want to try to put it all together at the end, right? Yes, at the end is when it matters the most. Um, I think our team is very resilient, and I think we're a young team, but we have a lot of skill, and we just need to practice so that we can get that skill in lock at all times. It certainly showed that you could take a punch battle right back against Lake Region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great fight, and it felt really good. And I know we went in there really confident, and there was a lot of ups and downs, but we have gotten a lot better at just evening those out, and I think it was really good. Sophomore season, what do you think you have to do better? I think I just need to be more confident, lead the team, because I am one of the captains, and I've been appointed that job, and it's a big job, but I know I can do it, and so I'm ready to work on that. We've definitely got to get better at our serve receive, I think, and um, being tough on the serve. Also, communication, that's something that we have been working on lately, um, just talking more on the court and getting to know each other on the court so we're not running into each other, and um, we're really, our defense talking to our front row so we can put the ball down. Alrighty, they're a fun team to pull for, that is for certain. In MSU Moorhead's 56-14 win over Minot State on Saturday, former Coyote standout Denver Sheets, So we talked to last month, had seven tackles, two for losses in that big blowout win over the Beavers. He's a junior now, always great when a former Coyote can have success on the next level. Next Saturday, they are home against McKinder University, and that is located in Lebanon, Illinois. So good for him. More positive news at the uh, Capital City Invite, swimming and diving. Minot wins it. That's no surprise. 412, Century 377, Legacy 346.5. There's the Coyotes, 240, fourth. Dickinson fifth, 218, and there's more good news. Who won the 100 free? Well, Drew Zander, always a busy, busy, busy sophomore. Uh, she won the 100 free, and of course this spring competed on the international level with uh, the Williston uh, Sea Lion, so that always helps. Gives you that good game face, and of course, running cross country, she wins at 55.87, Saturday, Williston's home at their Invitational at high noon. Tennis, Mandan comes to Williston. Coach Kristen beats his old club 7-2. A couple of sophomores account for the wins. Gallon Delore, remember that name, and Shane, uh, Shane Shannon, remember those two good young players. They're always playing, so that's very good. And after taking two out of three from the Mets this weekend, Twins home tonight to take on uh, Tampa Bay, who also is trying to make the playoffs. So two, we hope, future playoff teams. Let's take a timeout. <laughs> 